Okay, everybody, uh, this lesson is on problem solving multiply two digit numbers. Okay, so we're going to show you a couple of methods here. So, our common core strand is to use the four operations with whole numbers to solve problems. Hey, something new. And then our essential question is uh, how can we use the strategy draw a diagram to solve multi step multiplication problems? So, we'll do and we'll do that in this lesson here. So here's our first uh, problem. So in 2013, an average of 42 jackets were collected in each of the 20 classes at Gibson Elementary School. In 2012, an average of 32 jackets were collected in each of the 26 classes at Gibson Elementary. Based on this, how many more jackets were collected in 2013 and 2012? Okay, well first we got to, um, let's go ahead and read the problem. What do we need to find out? We need to find out uh, how many more jackets that were collected in 2013 and in 2012, okay? That's what this question is. How many more jackets were collected in 2013 and in 2012? Okay, so what information do we need to use? In 2013, how many classes were in 2013, okay? It says 20 classes in 2013 uh, collected an average of... 42 jackets, okay, and then this one's going to be how many classes? There's 26 classes, and they collected an average of, of 32 jackets each, okay? So, um, uh, how are we going to use this information? We can solve simpler problems. We're going to find the number of jackets uh, collected in 2013 and 2012, and then we'll draw what's called a bar model to compare these. So, bar model is just very easy. It's just a couple of rectangles. I'll show you in just a second. So, there's that problem. I just uh, made it a little bit longer and skinnier so we can put it up at the top up there. So, let's go ahead and solve the problem. First, we're going to find the total number of jackets collected in 2013, okay? So, there's an average of 42 jackets for each of the 20 classes. So, what we're going to do is multiply 42 times 20. Okay, and what I'm going to do is uh, split 42 as 40 plus 2 and multiply it times 2. Okay, and since it's times 20, we'll just add a 0 to that. Okay, so uh, 2 times 40 is 80, and then 2 times 2 is 4. So this would be 84, so this is going to be 84 with a 0, or 840 right there. Okay, and then next let's find the total number of jackets collected in 2012. So we're going to multiply 32 times 26. Okay, what I'm going to do here is multiply it this way here. And then here I did uh, the 20s times the 30s. Well, 2 times 3 is 6, and then have the two zeros with the 20 and the 30, so it's 600. And then I multiplied uh, the 20 times this uh, 2 right here. So these two tens right here times these two ones. So 20 times 2 gets me 40 right there. Okay, then we multiply this 6 ones times the 3 tens, or 6 times 30. 6 times 3 is 18, so 6 times 30 is 18 with a 0. And then finally, 6, uh, six ones times 2 ones gets me 12 ones right there. So when we add all those up, we're going to get 832. Okay, so let's answer the question here. Let's draw a bar graph or a bar model here. So a bar model would be this, you guys. We have 840 jackets in 2013, so we have a smaller bar for 832 jackets in 2012. So what we need to do is subtract these two numbers. So we're going to subtract 840 minus 832, and we get 8, okay? So there were 8 more jackets collected in 2013 than in 2012. Okay, let's try another problem here. Fort Bragg, California, reported a total of 29 crabs on one day in February. Bodega Bay, uh, California, counted 20 times as many crabs as Fort Bragg. If Sea Ranch, a whole a different place, reported a total of 760 crabs, how many more crabs were reported in Sea Ranch than in Bodega Bay? Okay, so we have a bunch of numbers here, so let's go ahead and start unwinding this. Let's read the problem. What do we need to find out? Well, we need to find out how many more crabs were reported in, in uh, Sea Ranch than in Bodega Bay right there, okay? And then what information do we need to use? Well, I'm going to use a bunch of information. There were, there were 29 crabs in Fort Bragg, okay, and Bodega Bay had 20 times as many crabs as Fort Bragg. And then uh, C Ranch had a total of 760 crabs. Okay, that's what that says down there. Okay, and then so how are we going to use this information? All right, what we're going to do is we can solve simpler problems and, and find the number of crabs that are reported in Bodega Bay. Okay, uh, which is, remember, they did, uh, uh, Fort Bragg had 29, and Bodega Bay had 20 times that. And then we're going to draw a bar model to compare, just like we did before, 
the number of crabs in Bodega Bay with the number of, of crabs in Sea Ranch, okay? So sorry, I just bumped my computer right there. Let's go ahead and solve the problem. So first we're going to find the number of crabs that are reported in Bodega Bay. So there were um, uh, 29 in Fort Bragg and there were 20 times more than that. So we're going to multiply 29 times 20. Okay, so 29 times 2 is going to be 58, and so because uh, 30 times 2 is 60, so 29 times 2 is 2 less than that. Okay, so it's going to be 580 because we've got to add the zero. So there's 580 crabs that were reported in Bodega Bay. Okay, so now let's draw a bar graph to model and find out how many more crabs were reported in Sea Ranch than in Bodega Bay. Okay, well, Sea Ranch, they told us they had 760 crabs in Sea Ranch. We just found out that they had 580 crabs in Bodega Bay. So just like before, we're going to go ahead and subtract those two numbers. And when we subtract those two numbers, uh, we get uh, 180 right there. Okay, so... Uh, so there were 180 more crabs in Sea Ranch than there were in Bodega Bay, okay? And then, is this answer a reasonable answer? So explain. Well, yeah, if we rounded the 760 to 800, and we rounded the 580 to 600, and then we subtracted those, 800 minus 600 is 200. And since, since 180 is close to 200, our answer seemed to be reasonable right there. So well, let's try and describe another way that we could have solved that problem. All right, well, we could have broken the 29 into uh, 20 uh, plus 9, and then we could have just found the sum of the partial products and did um, uh, 20 times 20 and then 9 times 20, okay? And 20 times 20, well, 2 times 2 is 4. Add the two zeros, so it's 400. 9 times 2 is 18, so add the zero, that's 180, and we could have added 40, the partial products right here, 40 plus 180 is 580. And then we can take away 580 from 760, and we get 180 on that, okay? All right, I hope that makes sense, you guys. Take care.